How's it going Fox? Frank here with another video. Today I'm going to be working on this Pajero which is a Pajero GLS V77 chassis model with a 3.8 V6 engine uh, where the engine code is 6 g 75 So basically this car has been smoking so I'm guessing that probably the valve steams are on warned out so let me just start head up to show you what's happening So this is a good quite sample guys uh, just to check how and diagnose valve steam seals you can either check your compression but uh, in this case it was clear that the valve steam seals are worn so what we have to do next is to start disassemble the intake manifold which I will time lapse just right now Okay, so we removed the first um, valve cover, as you guys are seeing over there. Uh, so now what I have to do is to untie those rocker arms. So we have from the exhaust side and from the intake side. So they're being held by those 12 mil. So what I usually do is to start untightening from the center to the outside. So as you guys may be seeing there, I've just removed the valve lifters and uh, now I'm going, since I'm going to use the rope method which consists in inserting a rope inside over there on the spark plug hole, I'll just remove the hole and also I have this kit which I will use it uh, to remove uh, the springs. Okay, just removed the first spring as you get us over there with this piece of magnet so basically what i had to do was to set up the tool just like that and just gently push it as you can see over there and with the magnet collect this small piece that are over there so to remove the old one just hook it with this plier As you can see it's out so guys this is a comparison between an old one as you can see this this is the old one and you can pretty tell by how it's looking it's you can see that over time it has some wear over there on the top while this new one you can see right here is more roundish and also it's a little bit soft here on the top so you can squeeze this one a little bit comparing to the old one which is hard and you can barely move it so now it's time to replace them oh by the way probably you are asking yourself why what that rope is doing over there into the spark, spark plug hole but actually this is one of the methods that you can use to actually hold the valves at the moment that you are pressing with the tool or pressing down the springs to remove it because otherwise uh, the valve would fall inside of the chamber so what you actually do is to pick a rope that can fit inside of the spark plug hole 
and you just insert it while the engine is atop that center for that specific cylinder and then you just rotate the crankshaft until it compresses uh, presses up the, the valves the other method that you can use is, a, is um, another one that you actually need a compressed air which is more expensive so this is a cheaper option over there and with this 10 millimeter socket I just tap it a bit just to make sure it sits then I pick up the spring again insert it there so the guides yeah Okay, so now that I have it installed, I will show you a trick that I use with plastic to insert it back. I just put the plastic on top of it. Then I am using a spark, a spark plug socket. And I just tap it with a hammer. <laughs> And voila! As you may be seeing there, it's inserted just like that. Wow, I'm done. Uh, I just have to remove the string. So I just replaced the valve steam in all, all the 24. I believe you can see some of them there. Some of them just right there. So now it's time to put back everything. We'll just go ahead and buy some new valve covers. Uh, I also want to replace that there is an O-ring that usually goes bad on those cars, which sits, sits right here on the back. Let me just show you. It's this one right here, and it can leak oil over time. So it's a good idea to also replace that uh, O-ring right there. Uh, nevertheless, so now it's time to just assemble everything back together. If you can also replace the spark plugs while you're doing this, check your timing belt and everything else should be good. See you when I have everything mounted up. All right, gents, the car is now running. Don't worry about that oil. Uh, I mean, it's oil running up when we open the valve cover. Also, I want to make sure that I bleed the radiator and voila it's done guys whoa i'm so happy that i finished this up couldn't be happier the car is running awesomely So that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video do not forget to leave your comment your like and please subscribe subscribe that's it see you around guys <laughs>